Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm going to be focusing on using some of the tools that we've got in our stashes. Uh, if you're like me, you've got things that you thought were really fantastic when you saw them and uh, you haven't yet had a chance to play with them or you played with them and you weren't successful or they kind of sat in a corner and you forgot what you planned to do with them. So we're going to um, create a fairly straightforward card today, but I'm going to use uh, some tools. Um, you may have seen me use them before, but we're going to bring them all together in, in this video for this card. And that is our blending brushes, our uh, spritzer and some, and the, Stampin' uh, Blends. These are the solvent-based markers. So first of all, we've got our blending brushes. Now you can see that this one has been used, um, but I, I've, I've just cleaned it up and it's just a tiny bit discolored, but it still works perfectly. So they come in in, in two sizes, the, the, the small, uh, the mini and, and the regular and I'm going to use the the larger one today to cover the um, the size of card that I want to use and then we've got our spritzers so I think you get two of these in a packet this is just filled with ordinary uh, tap water um, but depending on what techniques you want to use you can also use um, rubbing alcohol um, in there as well and then um, my blend, I've chosen to use the dark cherry cobbler. Um, they, you, you get a packet of two with a light and the dark version, but I wanted to just use the dark one today. So those are our tools and this is, this is our card. So um, I'm using the Nature's Print stamp set with the coordinating dies. This is one that um, carried over from last year's catalogue and I do love the leaves and everything as well as if you know me you know I do like my greetings with nice cursive fonts and with the stamp set having both of them makes me really happy as well. And then the, the dies, the one, the one I'm using is this lovely wreath die. And I'm also using the, a, a couple of the other little dies. So these is like, you get two of these to create the long leaves and you get two to create the small leaves. And you'll see that I've, I've used that here and I'm using the Distress Gold Specialty Paper there. Now, I've already cut these pieces out because um, the main focus of my, of my video is um, to use some of the tools in our stashes. And I do an awful lot of videos using the dies with the cut and emboss machine. Um, so, as I say, I have already cut my pieces out and they're in this pot waiting for when we get to that point in the process. Okay, so I'm gonna move these out the way. And then we'll talk about the, the techniques. So I'm going to pop a piece of, of paper down on my work surface so I don't get it covered in um in ink and i'm going to be using blackberry bliss that's the cardstock color i use to cut out my wreath and i've got um some more for my layer and then i'm using uh very vanilla this is the card the thick version of of the cardstock so I'm going to start by colouring up my piece of card. And for that, I'm going to add a little bit of ink. I prefer to use a circular motion to pick my ink up. Others may have a different view. 
um, and I like to keep my finger on the top here to put a bit of pressure. And I'm going to start off of my um, piece of, of, of card because I, there's this blob. The first thing that goes down is, is, is a bit of a blob of ink and it's, it's very hard to blend that out and you won't get a smooth coating on your your card now i am not looking for a a sort of uniform ink color on here i'm just looking to um add some color and you can put as much color on here as you wish um just to sort of build up And I'm going to leave it a bit lighter in the middle. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more onto the sides like that. Okay, so when I look at my colour, you can see that First of all, it's not a uniform coverage, which is what I was looking for. But if I compare this one to the one I've just put ink on, you can see it looks very different. Uh, but it is the same colour ink. I've used Blackberry Bliss on both of these cards. So my next step is to get my spritzer and it's got water in it and uh, you need to look for the little nozzle. Make sure it's pointed away from you. Otherwise, you go get a, um, <laughs> get a, 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 a spurt in the face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, Give this a spritz. And can you see straight away the colour is coming, well, it's changing. Before your very eyes, just like magic, the colour is changing. Okay. And I want to try and get some drippy bits on it. I'm, I'm looking to see if it will drip a little bit to give me a bit more texture. But I don't want to get my card ever so soggy. So let's see if I can make it drip a bit. If it doesn't, I'm not going to be too broken hearted. But the important thing I wanted to share was how the water really brings out the colour. And you get a completely different colour by giving it a spritz. Now, I'm going to set that aside for a few moments to dry. It shouldn't take very long while I um, work on, on the, the other bits of my card. So I want to do a greeting. I've decided that I'm going to use one of the other stamps in this set which says best wishes and happy thoughts the one that i used before was a very simple hello there so i just have a small piece of vanilla card and i'm going to stamp this in the same color ink um, and i'm going to make sure that i do stamp this right in the middle of my piece of card because i'm going to die cut it and I don't want to give it get it too um, much to the top, to the bottom or in the middle, because then the die may not catch it. So I've got my little got my little mini here. And I've got my number one plate. Then I'm going to put one of my clear number two plates down. Then my my greeting then I've got my die and just to make sure that it doesn't move and I get disappointed I'm just gonna 
fix it down for a moment with a little bit of sticky note there and then top plate on and gently crank it through make sure everything's lined up and then crank it through So there's my greeting, all beautifully cut out and ready to go. I've got a little bit of extra stamping. I want to decorate up my envelope and inside the card. So I have got this, this piece of card here is 11 by four and a quarter and I've made it into um, a portrait tent fold card just going to put in a nice little crease and here's my envelope i chose to use one of the pretty grasses that's in that stamp set and just bring back my piece of paper because I don't want to put the whole of this grass onto the card. I just want to put a little piece of it. So that's there. Pop that to one side out of the way. And then I'll do the same with my envelope. Perfect. Now I can get rid of this. And I think... I've probably finished all my stamping. Right. Now, this piece here is coming back. And as you can see, it started to flatten. When I got it wet, it all curved. But as it dries, it starts to flatten. And now it's still a little bit too damp for me to use. So I'm going to carry on and do a couple more pieces ready for when the card is, is dry. All right. So the next thing I wanted to share with you is we're all familiar with colouring in with our stamping blends. And I've got quite a few videos about how to use it for that. Uh, but we're going to use it to colour up some pearls. So I've got some pearls here and um, I'm going to use the bullet end of the marker. So the bullet end is marked up by the thin line as opposed to the thicker line at this end. And it looks like this and it's nice and firm. So is that when I colour up my pearls like this and all I'm doing is just sort of gently sort of going in circles around and I only need a couple so I'm not going to do lots like that. It's nice and firm. If I try to do it with the brush end here, it's a lot softer and it can actually start to... Um, uh, well what I call mash the tip uh, so I stay clear of that tip unless I'm I'm coloring so there's uh, another use for your blenders and we'll just go ahead and attach these the these take a few moments to dry just the solvent in there just needs to evaporate so I'm just going to pop it either end of my my label like that and while i'm here i'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals onto there ready for when the card piece of card is dry so just one either end should do it so there's my 
smear my label now. Let's see how we're doing here. This, oh, I think this is probably going to work. If it's too wet and you want to use it straight away, you can always use your heat tool on it and that will just finish it off. Now I'm going to attach this to my card base with some uh, double-sided tape after I have stuck it down <laughs> to my card layer. Nearly missed that bit out. So this piece is going to go onto here. have to be very careful because that's still a weeny bit on the damp side and if I'm not careful it'll scuff up and I've got a little corner that's being a bit difficult there so we're going to give it a bit of extra attention and put a bit more adhesive down on there just give it a good old pinch there we go and we're going to attach some double-sided tape to the back the reason I'm doing the double-sided tape is that I just want to make sure that with the extra weight that um, it doesn't fall off the front of the card. So let's just finish with some tape. I'm just going to give that a bit of a smooth just to hold it down make sure it activates the adhesive it's got that little bit spare bit couldn't bring myself to waste that okay so we're going to pull back a little bit of the backing tape on each side you've seen me do this technique on many videos if you follow my channel and then we've got our card front at the moment we don't have a top or a bottom so we can decide i quite like the fact that we've got a bit of um lightness up there okay so now we just line that up and when it's nice and, and centered, I can push my corners down and gently remove the tape. And that way I am not wrangling with loads of um, adhesive. Okay. So there's our card base so now we're going to move on to our little wreath and for this i am just going to use liquid adhesive my all-time favorite and i'm just going to put dots around on the back just to stick down anything um all those sort of loose bits so that they don't lift off the card when i come to pop it in the mail so you can see I'm hardly even squeezing the the bottle I'm literally just letting the ink sorry ink what am I talking about the the adhesive for follow fall out of, of the bottle so then I'm just going to decide how I want my my wreath to go. Um, and I think I might have that taller bit and I want it to go toward the top. And I'm just going to gently press it down so that it sticks. I think because the card underneath is still a tiny bit damp, it's just going to take a moment or two to set up. So there's my wreath. 
Now I'm going to bring in some of my, my little pretties. So as I said earlier, I cut a couple of each of these pieces and I'm going to attach the little bits to the top. Again, I'm just going to a tiny little bit of adhesive on the back. Just a tiny bit of pressure just to make sure that that adhesive goes down. And I'm going to do the same here and just pop a tiny little bit on the bottom. And have that coming down that side. There we are. Then I have a little twist of the lovely gold and vanilla ribbon. Uh, just I've just tied a little knot and then attached um, and then just sort of trimmed it. And I'm going to attach it with a mini glue dot. So pop it up there. Then I'm going to attach my greeting down here. And then I want to pop these two pieces behind there. So that's why I kind of did those bits first, put the greeting down first, because now I know where I want these extra pieces to be. And I just want them to come up there like that. And I think we're now done. Just put a little bit of pressure on those. And we have our card. Well, I do hope that you have enjoyed this uh, um, video where we have used some of the extra tools in our in our stashes and created a very pretty card uh, and looked at how we can make water at, uh, pull out even more colour from our inks. Well, if you've enjoyed the video, perhaps you'll go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe, perhaps you'll do that as well. If you look below, I will put the dimensions of uh, the uh, card below uh, here so that you can um, uh, repeat this yourself and if you've got any comments I'd love to read them so thank you for spending some time with me today bye bye for now